Welcome to the show today, folks. My name is Philip Cochran. Thank you for joining me. Uh, sorry, I'm uh, just finished cleaning out the truck and um, I got to load up some more stuff, some more salt here. I just thought I'd pull out the camera for a sec while I take a breather. Uh, it's only about 72, 3 degrees or something today. It's not that hot, but it's pretty humid, so it's uh, it feels like more than that. So we're at the, uh, what we call the shop here. This is the boss's uh, place, and it's where we, you know, kind of store some stuff for work, which is what I'm here to get. And, uh, ooh, look at all the new hot tubs and stuff. Came in. Well, this is, uh, here, we'll back up just a little bit. I'll tell you what these uh, pieces are. So, obviously, these big white square things are new hot tubs so this is how they kind of come to us they're all on a big skid and wrapped up and we have another trailer that we put them on to move the stuff around and then this here this kind of pile there's two piles as you can see they look kind of the same that's a pool kit is what that would be and uh so there's all the piping the hoses uh, uh that we need inside these boxes there's the hardware and brackets and uh, uh stuff like that and the blue pieces are the steel there you can see one poking out there in the bottom and uh you know you can see how we assemble that on one of my other videos uh what is that called um oh i forget but it's the only one that i have a full assembly in here. Now there's a staircase. That's you know kind of how it looks before we get it. There's some legs that are kind of built onto it to help support it. But uh, again, in that video, um, uh, we show you how we set this stuff up and, and pour the concrete. In. So that's where I got to get to. I got to get salt. It's way back stuck in there. I got to go through an obstacle course here that kind of so inside uh Preston's shop here he's got quite the setup and um we're gonna have a special tour of that just alone because there's so much in there it's like crazy it's uh, total eye candy um you guys are gonna love it when uh, when we do that right so we just anyway so just a little quick look around at the at the shop obviously we couldn't put all this stuff in our store because it's not much room so this won't be here for very long you know um maybe only a few days and then the boys will be uh, uh going to dig another pool um so yeah this is where i gotta go down we gotta load up the truck with some salt we need many bags because i got to do a couple of uh locations and um that's for the uh salt chlorine generator that i showed you in uh video a few days ago um i guess this is you know working with phil 12th why not let's say it is between me and you thanks for stopping in today love and peace from canada and we are youtube well that didn't work i'm just now i'm all hot and sweaty again but he just put in like 12 bags of salt so it's uh, 50 pounds each so what is that folks uh, 600 pounds of salt we just humped in a couple of seconds all right so here we are arrowhead road yeah. again maybe from previous videos we'll know that uh, there's five ski clubs on this face of the mountain okay so welcome back we are at the beautiful mrs s's place it's right down here at the lake as you can see nice spots we just put a new uh solar blanket on this guy last week uh oh little straps going there um and we're here to uh balance the salt and we've got a spa up there on their deck too check out his birdhouse 
There's a couple here. It's like a bird hotel. Is that not amazing? There's another one over there too. Beautiful day in paradise, folks. A little part of the uh, beach here. This is public ask access. There's another little one kind of just behind that picnic table, behind the tree here. You can't quite see it, right? But there's a, there's a little bay. You can see the mountain. We were just over there this morning. So, what this show is about salt, Bill. So, I'll show you the uh, generator here at this place. It's an older model. Um, and it uh, reads a little bit different than the Hayward ones, but uh, you'll get the idea. There's a little compartment here. So, yeah, this one's uh, just a little bit older, right? So it says 210, that's 2100, right? It's just a decimal point on this display. And our lights are on, it says check salt, inspect cell. Now, um, all these units have a 500 hour timer in them and they need to be reset every 500 hours. How you do that is you press and hold this diagnostic button for, oh, I think it's only five to 10 seconds that you need to do it. And if that's the case, if it just needs to be reset because it's done its 500 hours, then these lights will go off and it'll go back to normal generation. But as you can see, they're not coming off. And we're reading 210 here. So I'm gonna shut the thing off. I'm gonna add um, three bags to this pool. I'm also gonna take a sample back to the store to confirm that that's the real number on this pool. When you add salt, you need to shut your generator off for 24 hours for it to fully dissolve. And then you can turn the generator back on. And uh, yeah, and hopefully we'll get this uh, system back up and generating properly like it should be. So, uh, we're going to throw you on the uh, my tripod there. And we're just going to uh, show you how to uh, put the salt in the pool. It's not that exciting, but just show you how it's done. Okay, so we've got our salt lined up here, and um, let's get this water sample done first. So again, my test strips will show me four different things in the water, but this water sample I take from that we do at the store will show us about 20 or more things and I uh, want to make sure that that meter is reading correctly so you can you can do this a couple of different ways guys uh, it's really just you got to get it in the water and you want to get it dissolved there's a little kind of opening thing in there that you can pour it out slowly if you do it in the deep end slow enough there you won't have to stir it up or mix it in but that takes too long and you know we're in a hurry. We got lots to do. This is the fill way. Slice those bags open. Now I'm coming. So I'm hoping three bags is enough to. Uh, get that thing up. It should be at like 2,700 to 3,000 approximately. Depends a little bit on the pool and the size there and stuff. So there's always, even though I try and break these bags up, there's always a couple of chunks that I need to kind of wake up. Um, and then uh, just basically stir it around until it, uh, until you can't see it anymore just like you should be doing with all all chemicals and stuff like that. Um, you can burn your liner if you dump, you know, shock in and or some other chemicals and don't, you know, mix it in and brush it up. Um, you can get a burn stain and stuff on there. So um, don't dump it in and leave it for an hour and then go over and stir it up. You know, try and do it right away. Um, one bag at a time if you if you want. Um, it really only takes a couple of minutes to do. And then we know it's dissolved. Okay, 
guys can hear that. So this job wasn't on my uh, list today, but I knew I do service this pool regularly. And I knew that the salt level was low. We were out of salts last week. We just got two skids, as you saw earlier in the show, and we already chewed through half of one skid already. And I took 12 bags today. Um, I just did two at the last pool because the meter reading was up to 2,500. So, uh, and I didn't want to pull the camera out there because the uh, customer is uh, is just a renter at the place there. It's not really that, that known to us, there, right? But um, this property is well known. We've been servicing this. We built this pool 20 some odd years ago and it's still in really good shape. They're super nice people. One of the nicest people that you ever meet. Um, they're not, well they usually come up for the weekends, right? So if I service this pool Friday, I usually run into them. And they're do you want a drink? Do you want a beer? Do you want something to eat? You know, um, you went, sit down, you look hot, you know, you must be hot. <laughs> Just super, super nice people. Um, and, uh, and they really enjoy their pool and their spa, which is nice to see. You know, it's nice to see people appreciate these things and stuff there. So, that's about it. Well, uh, grab you off the tripod for a sec there and you can see there's just a little bit left that's kind of not dissolved yet there's a little bit in the corner I don't know if it's uh, we can picking it up there yet but it, it dissolves for pretty quick the easy job and then that's it so again salt generator is off for 24 hours until this dissolves fully into the water and gets circulated around so we'll drop back over here tomorrow turn the generator on and then um, there's a good chance that uh, uh, this pool will not need any more shock or chlorine to it because the salt generator will do its job so we're gonna pull the cover back on and uh, yeah we'll get out of here I'm hot I'm sweating <laughs> um, I need a drink thanks for watching today 11 piece from Canada we are YouTube